Okay. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Ken here. Darcy here. And we're behind the haunts. So today we are going to check out Screamin' Acres. This is in the suburbs of Madison, Wisconsin. This is going to be our first time here. We've never been here, um, so yeah, we're really excited to see what it's about. It looks cool so far. They have a good giant farm, and uh, I'm I'm not sure. Again, I don't know. It looks like there's a big outdoor portion, and then it goes indoor, so we'll see. It's a really cool day, though. But lucky Darcy has his produce sweatshirt on, so we're set. I got my flannel back here. I'm wearing that. Yeah, we're about to go inside and go see what footage we can get, and then we will let you guys know what Screaming Acres is all about. We start off here with a photo crop area and a queue line. The queue line kind of comes through here where everyone just kind of waits until it's their turn to go through. Mm -hmm. Photo ops for when they're done and everything else. T shirts. We're uh, sponsored by Kickstart this year, so. so this oh is man, the, this entrance there. The oh wow, okay. This is pretty cool. So when they Hi. come through the queue, they come in here. Send them through with their specific groups. Everything's done on timer, so we kind of try to keep the groups fairly small, so that way they get a better haunt experience. Yeah, Instead we definitely like yeah. twenty people exactly. So basically, like a storefront walking into a slaughterhouse, like you would on any kind of I don't know meat company or something like that. Walk in, and this is all pretty much you know everything from the props to the noise makers. And right now, this is. So, what do you do when someone <laughs> shits your pants? Um, like, how do you do? You have to stop people from coming in? No, no, we keep it going. What size are your groups? Like four people? Five we people? usually do between four to four to ten people. Four to ten. Um, so we like to keep them smaller again, better scare, better reaction. Yeah. And people get their experience instead of oh, they see it up there. This is the claustrophobia one. Gotcha. This is where you get into tight quarters and everything. Nice. And if claustrophobic, be careful. Oh, yeah. So when you're coming through and it's oh. dark as hell, come on, man. lights flash on and you get a giant rat that comes at you. So how far out does this come? Does it does it ever actually come through the... Yes, it comes out to about here. comes out to about this. So you've ever had anyone get hit? No. But then again, this is also our first year on it too, so. He's one of our newest additions. That is really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta take a break from that. Oh, man. All right, so we just did the walkthrough. Um, those air cans just scared the crap out of me. That's actually only the first half of the walkthrough. That was the first half. So we're gonna continue this walkthrough after a little bathroom break. That's how long this walkthrough is. Bye. This is tight. Whoa. Just like the other two spots, and another cute one. Gotcha. It's pretty cool. Uh, guy with the giant mohawk you saw. Yeah. Which that is his real hair. So that way we get people to stop. What the f You gotta be kidding me. It is just under the mucosa. In actual history, this table is actually influenced and a lot of people want this table. You guys remember a guy by the name of Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. yeah. This was his vivisection table. Was this it really? The actual table. The actual table. The actual table. I'm touching. That he was actually Cut open, autopsy done. This is the table. The so whole walkthrough is usually about an hour. Wow. wow. You guys are smart because it says don't touch. That is electrified. Is it really? Yes. So it's wait. Low, it's low voltage, but it can shock you. Yeah. <laughs> can you wait? Okay, I'm nervous now. <laughs> ah! oh. um, skin's up here if you want to ask him.
Hey guys, we're here at Screaming Acres, and we're here with Jacob, the owner, um, and we're gonna ask him a few questions. When did you first start Screaming Acres? This is the eighth season that eighth we've been season. running. So, yeah, eight years ago it was just an absolute nothing of a haunted house, and we're at where we are, where we are at right now. Yeah, so I, this place is incredible. It's huge. Do you ever get like lost in your own haunted house? Uh, I can't say I ever have, but uh -huh. there's been plenty of people who have. So uh -huh. it's it's a lot of space, that's for sure. So. Yeah, that, yeah. That tour is crazy. Okay, so um, I heard that you're 21. Yes, that is the case. And this has been around for eight years. Yep, yep. That was uh, so. It was uh, initially started to pay for a chunk of college, and then we soon realized after that that it's a very serious. Uh, it has a lot of serious potential, and it very much has been my full-time job, pretty much for the most part. You know, for many years now. Um, you know, the first couple of years kind of slow, smaller operation, but now it's. You know, nine nights a year of just high intensity, you know, just putting the people through as much as we can, and it's a busy, busy season, but a lot of fun. That's that's really that's awesome. When we heard that you're 21, we're like, we made jokes. We're like, what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> but um, so when you first started it, did it was it here or was it a different location? And we, like, how big was it? Yeah, we were in the same spot. Oh. So like, it was, but as far as size goes, like, we were the space that is the last resort now. I think we have like two of the original rooms from year one still, uh -huh. but like even then it's like hardly identifiable yeah. to be the same. Um, and then what is now the side effects, so it was like barely, like uh -huh. maybe a quarter of what we have total right now. Oh. Um, and it was just, you yeah. know, in and out in like 10 or 15 minutes, and now it's like all of 45 minutes to get through. Yeah, it seemed like an hour when right. we yeah. were walking through. That's right. awesome. All right, well, does pineapple go on pizza? What's that? Does pineapple go on pizza? Absolutely not. No, that was, no, that was, that was our first that was no. A, That's our first no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who else is on the other end of that camera. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'd have to say that would. It's absolutely no. That, that definite hard no. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, right, thanks thank for coming you. out. Yeah. All right, guys. So we did the walkthrough. We did the interviews. Probably the scariest walkthrough we've done so far. I am legitimately terrified to go through this haunted house. <sighs> We're gonna do it. We're not backing out. This is the first time I'm super scared. I'm so scared, I don't wanna go through. Yeah, I, so I'm really scared. We're about to go in though, so I see someone parking next to us, maybe we can catch them, and we can be in the same group as them. Bye! <laughs>
please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.